नमस्कार सतल आदाब हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू टिव के लर्नर अ पिट फॉरवर्ड डेली टुडे इज डे 25 ऑफ आवर पावर क्वेरी सीरीज एंड वी आर अबाउट टू अनलॉक सम रियली प्रैक्टिकल ट्रिक्स एडिंग रो नंबर्स एंड कस्टम कैलकुलेटेड कॉलम्स विदाउट राइटिंग अ सिंगल लाइन ऑफ कोड बट बिफोर वी जंप इन इट please do me a small favor like share and subscribe to divk learner it may help someone out they are looking to get job ready or upgrade their skills you share or your share can truly make a difference to them thank you main content that that we are going to cover here is we will be talking about how to give serial numbers to your data quickly calculate profit add an age column from date of birth so those kind of things guess what you can do all this using power bi built in ui tools no code just clicks step by step demo walk through so we'll we'll have some walk through as well and that is what we are going to cover in this demo so for that i just wanted to show you this first this is the kind of the project that we'll be creating in the next couple of days in the next couple of videos but before going into the into the system and trying to work on this data the important thing is to understand the data so i'll i'll just go into the new one new power bi desktop so that we can start from scratch so the first thing that i have to do is i'll be clicking on get get data and then then i'll be getting the excel file that i'm working on and that is day 25 that will load the excel file we have three different sheets in this particular file we have customer data we have product details and the sales data and i'll click on transform so it will take some time to load but when you find out when you when you check this you find out that there are three tables i think it it just got two of them to us we'll get the third one as well so i'll go here to new data source go to excel i can either do it like this i can click on this and i click and open again and i'll be getting another file following the same thing and i'll click on the sales data which we missed and i click on okay and you will see the sales data as well but if you don't want to go into that particular steps again what you can do is you can do a right click on this and you can make it a duplicate you will see that it is having the source then it is going to the navigator the navigator is actually which is giving you the data so if i go back to the source i can remove this navigator i can remove the change type as well i don't require them in the source i see we have three different files three different excel file sales data we have product details and the customer i can click on the table and then it will load the customer data for me i can select the table that i want to work on so i'll just delete it so this is the data that we are working on right and in this data you will see that we have column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 so it is basically not taking the name of the column which is in the row 1 so what i can do is i can go to transform and i can say use the first row as header so after this you will see we have customer name city state and country and in the product table we have the product name cost price in the sales table we have sales date we have customer name product and selling price but if you see the customer date is not correct so i'll click on 1 to 3 there and change it to date so i'll say replace it in the current step so where it is doing the change type i'll just do that so it will not add any other step but it will do it there So this is where I wanted to show you the data. I'll be creating the part two of this tomorrow. All right. Till then, you can practice this. All right. 
and then we'll be going on further building on this particular project so if, if you really like the way that we are progressing which i'm missing please please share your comments and if you like this video and the series of it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to divk learner and also comment below so i'm just looking for something like if you can tell me what kind of custom calculations would you create in power bi if if you want we can you can give me the comments and we can talk tomorrow uh, together on that in comments or in different modes so tomorrow we'll be working on the same thing we'll be still working on indexers as well as working on the uh, calculated columns which we have already done then we'll also be talking about some part of the very important topic called merge queries in the last video i mentioned that we'll be talking about the nested if but that has already been covered in the previous video so you can see it in the previous video so once again uh, with that's all that i wanted to cover today it was great talking to you all the best to you as well thank you see you tomorrow bye bye